Patrick, how are you? I'm good. What you watching? Well, I was watching the news. Oh, well, do you mind if I join you? I guess not. Good morning, viewers. I'm Jamie Freeman with CHS Ag News. With the push to eliminate the use of non-renewable resources for energy, a current problem that has been facing Missouri farmers, is the topic of harvesting corn stover for renewable energy. Our governor recently said, as our energy needs grow, we need to be looking for clean, abundant, and affordable power. Corn stover is an important component to biomass, which is a renewable energy. Today we welcome into the studio Miss Nancy Mays as she talks about objective information regarding the harvesting and usage of corn stover. Good morning, Nancy, and thank you for joining me. Happy to be here, Jamie. So, Nancy, could you explain to the viewers at home what corn stover is and how it can be used? Corn stover is everything left behind on a field after the corn has been harvested. This includes the stalk, leaf, husks, and the tassel. These, these components account for three to four and a half dry tons per acre. How can those residues be used? If the corn stover is collected, it can be put through an energy production unit or a boiler, or otherwise processed in other ways, and be used for renewable energy as it contains lignocellulose, a component of plant matter that has high energy value and is not used directly for human consumption, so it could prove beneficial. Well, that just seems like a giant waste of time and money, not to mention resources. Farmers are busy enough as it is during harvest season. I know that I personally would not want to take the extra time to windrow and bale the stover. Furthermore, most of the producers I know do not own the equipment necessary to harvest the stover. But I feel like taking this extra time to harvest the stover is going to be very beneficial in the long run. It would only take an additional two hours per acre. Think about the positive effects that this could have on the environment. But does the cost outweigh the benefits? Actually, corn stover is one of the least expensive sources of renewable energy, only costing about $50 to transport and produce. Okay, so I'm sure many of the viewers at home have probably never even heard about this. Can you tell me why this is now just coming into the media's limelight? Research wasn't conducted until 2008. The data collected during this research was used to help pass over 140 new bills in several states in 2011. As you may notice, a few years have passed since these bills have been put in place. This is because there was not much awareness raised during that time. I don't get this at all. If this happened over five years ago, why on earth am I just now hearing about it? With the increased amount of political pressure for cleaner burning alternative fuel sources, this issue has made a very strong reappearance in our media. This new, this new publicity has increased the already heated debate over the issue. I can definitely see why there's debate, but I don't think corn stover is a suitable replacement for non-renewable resources. Could you at least try to keep an open mind about this? Fine, I'll listen, but this isn't going to change my mind. Now, I'm sure many of you watching this at home are wondering why corn stover has practically been unheard of for the past five years. I'm here to tell you that this is very important in light of the world's recent need for alternative renewable fuel sources. She's not wrong there. Did you know that in 2009, 82% of the world's energy came from the burning of fossil fuels? This contributed to over 35.6 billion metric tons of carbon emissions into the environment. But is corn stover really the answer to this? As producers, we see a shift each year in acreage of corn planted due to commodity prices. So in theory, if the price of soybeans doubled, producers would put less acreage in corn and more in soybeans, decreasing corn stover production for that growing season, creating the same argument that you just used, Hannah. But I mean, it's worth a shot at least, isn't it? At what cost will our world's future come at? As with any issue, there are many pros and cons surrounding the subject. Can you please tell us some of those pros and cons? Of course. The main concern of farmers when confronted with the topic of harvesting corn stover is the money that is initially involved. Is that what causes most farmers to stay away from this practice? In part, yes. Not only do the stover boilers or other, other units of processing cost more than, say, oil or gas burners, but they also take up more space, which causes a lot of investors to stay away from this practice. Additionally, taking away stover can deprive the soil of essential nutrients such as phosphorus, which can lead to a lower return on the next growing season. Sorry. And the pros? 
Corn stover can be used as part of an alternative to fossil fuels, which are harmful to the environment. Taking away stover that would be left to decay is very efficient and cuts down on annual crop wastes. Additionally, excess crop residues on the field can interfere with germination and delay planting, as well as block necessary UV light needed for seed growth. Therefore, it could prove beneficial to harvest the stover. She's got another point there. I mean, what else am I going to do with the stover? All it does is sit in the ground until the next growing season. But as the stover rots inside the ground, nutrients are returned to the ground and act as a fertilizer. The stover also acts as a barrier that prevents our very thin layer of topsoil from being eroded. Without it, we may lose even more of our very, very limited amount of topsoil. Missouri's soil profile contains large areas of hard clay pan, which need the vital, nu vital nutrients that corn stover possesses. You don't necessarily have to remove the entire stalk. Even if you only remove 60%, an estimated 1.8 to 2 dry tons of stover are still harvested per acre. The remaining segment left in the ground still fertilizes and protects the soil. But what, what is left won't be enough. If we lose topsoil, we lose profit. The repercussions could be very damaging to our economy. All right, Mary. The way I see it, the pros of harvesting corn stover include a decreased dependency on fossil fuels, which ultimately helps the environment. With Missouri being a top corn producing state, this provides an already abundant source of biomass, which can increase a farmer's profit on their crop. And in sharp contrast, I believe the cons include the risk of losing topsoil, the loss of nutrients vital in creating a healthy yield, and an increase in time and money spent in producing a yield. Although this has been an amazing discussion, do you think we better get back to work? What? Corn, maize, amazing. That was funny. Stop telling corny jokes and let's just finish the news. Fine. Okay, so from what I'm hearing today is that harvesting corn stover could be a benefit because it is great for renewable energy and too much extra stover on the field can be harmful to new growth. On the flip side, it can be unfavorable by the way of expense and too much extra and deprivation of soil nutrients. There are many pros and cons surrounding this, so I believe it is up to our audience at home to decide for themselves. Thank you, Nancy, for joining us to discuss this very important agricultural issue. My pleasure. I'm glad to share this important information about an issue that may very well affect our future.